Seven on As Herald reporters work on other stories and projects, the scanner broadcasts area first responders' radio traffic. The scanner helps Herald reporters quickly learn of breaking news situations such as an automobile wreck. After hearing a broadcast for a 1048 or injury wreck, the Herald reporters spring into action with a camera, pen, paper, and recorder in hand. Do we know if the patient is at that address or are they still at the hospital? Well, when whenever you approach a uh, car wreck, uh, you want to um, kind of first assess the situation for, for your own safety. And uh, for instance, if you're on a busy highway, like an interstate, you want to keep well back from the accident and get your vehicle completely off the road. And then uh, try to take a, into account what time of day it is, what the road conditions are, so you can add that into your story. You also want to, as you're approaching the scene, try to figure out what agencies are involved, um, so you'd be able to get a complete list of who was uh, working the accident. You also would want to find out quickly who was the uh, officer in charge of information, the public information officer that would be working the scene and establish uh, with them quickly who, who you represent um, and get permission uh, to, to access the scene. Yep. And once you've established that and established who would be able to provide you with information, um, then you can go ahead and take your photos, uh, then talk with the, the officer and try and get as much information about the accident as possible. You always want to be as accurate as you possibly can, and that's why a lot of times uh, you might talk to some, some people that may have witnessed the scene, but you always want to corroborate anything they tell you with uh, the official report from the officer on, on the scene because a lot of people will see things and two people see something completely different. It, a lot of times at the scene, once you've talked to the officer in charge and you can gather some information about what's occurred, uh, you would want to be able to text that back to your editor so they can put it on Facebook or Twitter or, or get something on our website as quickly as possible. In a breaking news situation or in a regular everyday situation, we like to tell stories using a variety of uh, methods, whether it's a print story or a video or a photo package that goes online or online and in print. We like to use a variety of different methods so that people who engage the paper differently or engage our different platforms differently all have something that they can look at. Technology has definitely changed a lot of how we do our reporting and it makes it so that when you have breaking news you're not just trying to get the news into the next available newspaper you have a variety of means of getting it to our readers so we can put the breaking news story on our website then we can send out an email blast, we can tweet about it, we can put it on Facebook, and all of those different elements help get it out to the reader faster. Uh, but with that immediacy comes some different challenges because you don't have the same amount of time and uh, editing necessarily that would go into something that's in print only. Um, so one of the challenges that we have is trying to keep the same standard for uh, online breaking news that we have for uh, the print news. What I like to tell our reporters is that the same level of editing needs to go into anything that goes online. So whether it's a, a print story that goes online or a video that goes online or a tweet or a Facebook post about a breaking news event, it all really kind of needs to go through the same channels and the same fact checking and uh, steps to make sure that it's accurate. Well, news consumption has obviously changed greatly with the internet because national, international news has been become available through a variety of sources and so we don't have the, the same emphasis uh, on a local basis to try and cover national and international news. Instead, our emphasis is on the localizing that kind of content and what kind of impact it has locally, what kind of uh, interest it may have locally. Um, the 
usage of, of media has changed dramatically with the internet because uh, initially with websites and PCs and, and laptops, uh, people started to consume more digital media. Now we've seen that um, moving to social media as well as moving to mobile. Mobile is the up and comer on the way people consume uh, news content and other media. And, and so uh, we have uh, stayed right on track with, with that kind of uh, change in consumer habits. And that's the, the way we'll continue to be is to uh, try and be on the cutting edge of, of what is happening with, with media consumption. Uh, we've worked hard to uh, address the different ways that people want to uh, receive their news because, um, in fact, we talk about your news your way being um, the principle that's driving us because we're trying to deliver news content and we don't care how you get it. And if you want to get it while you're sitting at a football game versus um, being on vacation versus being at home versus being at work, being commuting, um, whatever the situation might be, we're, we're delivering that content and outputting it in through multiple means that are the most popular um, and most um, likely ways that people want to consume it. So we, we listen to our readers. We, we are responsive to them. We try to stay up with industry trends and, um, and make sure that we uh, have mobile ready. For example, not only are we on a website, that, that can go to mobile, but ours is, is a, a mobile ready so that it's easy to read on your mobile phone. It's equally easy to read on a tablet. It's equally easy to read uh, on a um, p computer. So whatever method someone wants to use, we, we have created uh, responsive templates as a method to deliver our content so that it's easy for people to consume it in whatever manner they choose. Oh, our audience has, has loved the changes that we've made because our readership is at its, its highest rate ever. Um, the uh, traditional print method and delivery is still very strong with, with many, many people in, in this area because they like their print newspaper. So we still deliver that. But we are also delivering outrageous numbers, frankly, on, on our website with unique visitors, with our social media, with our Twitter, with um, Facebook, all the different ways that people want to get that. In fact, we even use YouTube, that we're putting our videos on YouTube. And those are all different channels that, that we are using to disseminate information in the, in the ways that, that are uh, most um, uh, attractive to our readers. And as a result, our readership has, has continued to grow and, and it's gone up and we, we couldn't be happier with that. Yeah. But I think it's a common misconception that what we do is just the print edition. In, in reality, we're delivering news all the ways that people want to get it, and, and we're pleased to do so.